Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. In today's video, I am going to show you how to integrate Elementor with Aweber to collect email addresses and leads. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. All right, so the form will be here on the home page, but first of all, let's install the required plugin. So navigate to the back end of your WordPress website into plugins, add new, search for Aweber for WordPress, and install this plugin over here that was made by Aweber. Click install, and when you're done, click on activate. Great, now navigate to the new Aweber tab that you have here on the left side, and you will need to connect with Aweber by clicking on the get started button. It will take you to the Aweber screen where you will need to enter your credentials, your email and password, and then click on allow access. It will create an authorization code for you. Just copy this code, go back to your WordPress website and paste the code over here on step number two. And when you're done, click finish. If the connection was successful, it will just take you to the advanced options tab over here. You don't need to do much and we can move forward to actually integrate Elementor forms with Aweber. So let's go back to our homepage where we would like to host the form. And here we'll click on Edit with Elementor. And we have two ways to integrate Elementor with Aweber. The first way is by using the Aweber new widget that was added to our Elementor library. That's a good option if you don't have Elementor Pro because it's a free option. And the second option is by using the form widget of Elementor Pro. And I will show you later how to do it. But let's start first with the free version with the Aweber widget option. And here on the left side, you will need to decide to which list you would like to add the subscribers to. And you also have to choose the form that you would like to display. Right now, we only have one form, which is the default form, as you can see here. However, if you would like to customize the form with your colors or to add or just remove fields, you will need to log into your Aweber account, navigate to the sign up forms tab, and then click on create a sign up form to create your customized sign up form and after you will create it you will be able to choose it here in Elementor from this list over here and it will display the new form when you're done just click on update to publish the form the second option is using the Elementor Pro form widget which is my preferred option because we can use the Elementor interface to customize our form in order to do that let's drag the form widget to the desired section because it's a lead capture form, we don't need to have this message field over here. Therefore, I'm going to delete it by clicking here on the X icon. And now I'm going to expand the actions after submit option. I'm going to delete the email and I'm going to choose the Aweber option over here. After I did so, a new Aweber tab will be added below this action after submit. I'm going to expand it. And here I can choose to which list to add the subscribers to. And also I can add some tags in order to segment the lists. Then under the field mapping section, I will need to match the form fields with the required Aweber fields. So the name will capture the name of the subscriber and the email will capture the email of the subscriber, just like so. After you finish set it up, design it and customize it the way you want, just click on update. And now we can move forward and test the form to make sure our subscribers are being transferred to Aweber. So let's do that. I am going to fill the form with random data, name and email, and I'm going to click on send. If everything was set up correctly, this new name is supposed to be transferred to Aweber and I am supposed to see it in our subscribers list. So let's go to our Aweber account here into the subscribers tab, click on the edit today tab, and I can see the new name added successfully over here and the form is working perfectly fine. All right, guys. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave us a comment here under this video or go back to our blog post. You have the link in the description down below. You can leave us a comment inside the blog post and I will respond way quicker that way. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.